Okay, we're live. All right, Sal, it's nice to meet with you again. Very nice to meet with you, Chris. How's everything? Good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Wonderful. I'm just uh, very happy to be meeting with you and your team. So I do want to come to an agreement with you so that we can obtain rights between the both of us on the new Z25 magnet. Okay, that sounds great. That's exactly what we're here for. I think the biggest issue right now is figuring out the rights to sell to outside companies or people that are in our company right now. Um, I have a few options that I'm looking at, and I just want to make sure that we both end up winning in the end and both make profit. So I will go, um, is there a, a lot you had in mind before I start? Well, actually, uh, first of all, I, I'd like to start and congratulate you guys because, uh, you know, I, I fully admit that Z25 is um, a technology that uh, my engineers looked over, we passed on, and, uh, you know, we, we, we somewhat regret, regret that decision, but we do commend you on actually running with that technology, making it successful, and making it something that's uh, a, commercial, a commercially viable option. Uh, for our company to actually sell, since we do have the charter to sell to outside companies. So as you said, we, we have the same goals as you. We want to be profitable, um, not only for each of our separate divisions, but for l -Tech as as a whole. And I think that'll really look good to the management or the top management uh, above us. If we can strike a deal, you know, we don't have to get anyone else involved and, um, you know, we can be successful together. So. Well, I mean, we, we do have some numbers um, that we went over and we looked at. So, I mean, if you want me to throw an offer out there or if you want me to, you know, mention any other things. I mean, the, the one thing that, that concerns us with, with the whole deal is that Z25, I believe, has a lifetime expectancy of two years. So time is limited to make a profit you know, commercially or to, um, to, um, to the outside competitors. And I know you're concerned about, you know, selling us selling directly to them. So, you know, time is limited and, you know, what I'd like to do is, you know, we respect, um, keeping your competitive advantage. So, um, we would be willing to not sell to your direct competitors for a certain time period. I don't know if there's a time frame that you guys had in mind. So we're looking at about 20 months because we do have the two year um, move over time. But if we do 20 months, at least we'll stay on top uh, compared to our competitors, but we're still giving them a chance in the end. We just want to make sure that they don't get the technology and us giving you the Z25 is us handing you the technology and giving you the advantage of those extra few months when we're done with the contract. Okay. You know, as I mentioned, that two-year lifetime, I mean, 20 months in, in our eyes, respectfully, we, we think that's a little too long to, to not be able to sell to, um, to you know, let's say to your, your direct competitors. I mean, eventually they will get their hands on it. And, and you know, I think 20 months is, is a little too long. We were thinking, and this may be kind of a stretch, we were thinking more like six months to, you know, not sell to your direct competitors. I understand that's, that's quite a stretch and we're quite a ways away on, on the number, but I'm just giving you our position of where, you know, what we were thinking as far as that time frame. I think we would be willing to do six months, but that would be for the l -Tech division and then maybe 12 months for your division, which would be the direct competitors, so that we at least meet halfway between the the year, but we don't want the six month barrier between us and the other divisions. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that would be not selling to l -Tech for how long? For 12 months? Not selling to l -Tech for six and then not selling to direct competitors for 12. Okay. Okay. Uh, look at my notes here. Hmm. Okay. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out where that leaves us as, you know, kind of from a profit, profitability standpoint. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you guys were, I, I think there was some mention when we had initial conversations of a, of a transfer price. 
Yes. And, you know, obviously we'd be willing to pay a transfer price. Is there, is there a, a number that you had in mind uh, from my position and my team's position, the longer or the, the more restrictions on how we're able to sell, um, that puts kind of a limit on where we're willing to go on the transfer price. You know, if, if, if the longer the months and, and the restriction of selling to, to LTEC and the direct competitors, I mean, we'd have to, you know, offer a lower transfer price. I mean, I, I don't know. Do, do you feel it's, it, it, would, it would interrupt your competitive advantage if we did sell to LTech competitors? I mean, does that? I would be willing to go down to just 12 months to just direct the competitors and sell to LTech as long as you bring your transfer price up to a decent amount. Okay. You know what? That, that is more along the lines of what I was thinking. I figured you know, direct competitors, that would be your biggest, you know, your biggest threat. And, you know, 12 months to us, I think that, I think that is a reasonable time frame. Um, you know, I mean, that gives, that gives actually both of us time because there's going to be another product after Z25. Oh, it is. And definitely, definitely. And by starting this relationship, you know, we can work and collaborate on a new product I mean, that would be that would be another discussion that we would eventually um, have and negotiate. But uh, I think between the two companies, uh, the the expert technical know how that we both have um, 12 months would give us the next enough time to keep the product away from competitors, come up with a new product in the meantime. But at the same time, make you know our sales um, on that Z25 product. At least, you know, not for the 12 months that, that we're not selling to competitors, but, you know, after that 12 months, we'll be able to, to profit um, in, let's say, that second year and really capitalize on, on you know, the commercial market with Z25. So I, I, I think that's great. 12 months, we won't sell the competitors. Transfer price, though. Um, let me look at the numbers that uh, we came up with. Hmm. I think we were thinking of a transfer price for this scenario. We would be willing to give a transfer price, I would say, of, let's say, $30 million. I don't know how that works into you, how that figures into your expected profits. I know you guys spent $12 million on your R&D. It took you about three years um, to get to where you got to with this product. So you would be recovering your $12 million plus um, you know, maybe some of the potential benefits uh, that you would have had from selling internally. So with the 12 million and the amount of money we would make if we produced it ourselves, mm -hmm. um, our number is actually a little higher for the TP price. We were looking okay. for something more close to 40 million. 40 million. Uh -huh. And then keep in mind that we will be buying back from you at the end of each year, which is another half a million each year that we are okay. buying back from you. Okay. Um, you know what, that, that, I think that makes sense financially for both of us. Um, you know, looking at what we, what we projected our profits will be under the, you know, not selling to your direct competitors for 12 months. Um, you know, we looked at our profits. If we subtract that 40 million, that kind of puts us in a range that I think we would be comfortable with. Um, it not only gives, I mean, I don't know exactly what numbers you calculated as far as your overall profit on this deal, but as far as we're concerned, I think that puts us in a pretty good range um, to be profitable on the Z25, but also to make the top management happy. And, you know, combining your profit, our profit, us both being, you know, presidents of the companies and our teams working together. I think that says a lot for both of us. So I think that's pretty fair. Okay. It's a deal. It's a deal. It was a pleasure. Pleasure doing business with you. As I said, you know, we, we do, we do want to come up with another product. Uh, we do want to work with you. We know you have technology uh, in the magnetic uh, field and, and, you know, we, we do as well. And, and we have the advantage of the charter of selling to the commercial market. So, you know, future deals, you know, whether they're 50, 50 or they're, you know, some other type of percentage, I think um, 
we'll have a pretty good collaboration and uh, working relationship going forward. So I, I really appreciate it, Chris. It's, it's a pleasure. It was a pleasure, Sal. It was great working right. with you and we'll continue to work together. Definitely. We'll be in touch soon. All right. Take Thank care. You.